this is an interesting case for someone who's starting out in emergency radiology. It's a head CT on a young female patient presenting with the worst headache of her life. And as we scroll through from caudal to cranial, we notice that there is hyperdense material within the cerebral sulci, most notably in the cervian fissure, both sides as well as the anterior interhemispheric fissure. The basal systems look somewhat full. And as we scroll more cephalad, we see that the ventricles are mildly dilated and there is high density material in the frontal horns of the lateral ventricles. And the cell side overall look a little bit tight. So this pattern of high density material within the cell side is characteristic of subarachnoid hemorrhage. And in this case, the hemorrhage has also dissected the ventricular system. These are small amounts of intraventricular hemorrhage in the frontal horns and resulted in mild communicating hydrocephalus. Note how the frontal horns appear slightly bulbous as a result of the acute onset of hydrocephalus. Uh, when we look further, there is a focal small collection of clot in the uh, anterior interhemispheric fissure. Usually subarachnoid hemorrhages that are symmetric about the midline as this one is, are related to midline aneurysms. And when we see this kind of appearance, it's um, more likely than not that the, the source of the subarachnoid hemorrhage is ruptured anterior communicating artery aneurysm, as this is the location for that vessel. Uh, the other common, relatively common midline aneurysm is the, the, the basilar artery tip aneurysm, but we don't see one in the location of the basilar tip. So this is a ruptured anterior communicating artery aneurysm with subarachnoid hemorrhage resulting in communicating hydrocephalus. Thank you.